Hello and welcome to 2837 Kenview, Dayton, Ohio. This home is gorgeously updated. We're located in a very de desirable area of Belmont. Walking up to the house, we do have a one-car garage to the rear here. Updated vinyl siding. The roof is a 30-year uh, dimensional shingle roof on the house. was built, put on in 2007. The garage was 2013. Have a covered front porch here. Great neighborhood. And coming now, I'll show you the backyard. We have a gorgeous backyard here too. And all the windows are updated. They're double tilt windows, so you can tilt them in and clean the glass. Check out this Rose of Sharon bush. This thing is gorgeous. Yard is mostly fenced. You could fence in this section right here and put a gate, and the yard would be completely fenced in with that. You can see our updated siding. The electrical service has been updated. It's a new panel box, new meter, new service entrance cable. Basically a brand new Bryant air conditioner with a matching furnace on the inside. The water heater's new as well. Kitchen updated. This is just a great, great house. Next, let's go inside and take a look. All right, so here I just walked through the front door. We're greeted by a gorgeous living room here. Original wood floors in great shape here. All the windows throughout the house have been updated. Fireplace is a gas fireplace. Um, owner never uses it, but it is a gas fireplace there. Look at those little archways. That's one thing I really like about these houses, or this area right here. Just a lot of charm, and you'll see it with the doors to the house as well. Good sized dining room here. As you can see, you got plenty of room to put a china cabinet over here or if you have a little corner shelf or whatever you like. Brand new ceiling fan in this room. Kitchen was just updated. New countertops, a new backsplash in here. New kitchen faucet and a huge sink there. The range and the refridge do stay as does the washer and dryer in the basement. Very bright and white kitchen in here. Now we do have two bedrooms on this floor, first floor that we're gonna check out. There's a good view of that arch right there I was just talking about. And this is one thing I love about this house, these original doors, even has the original doorknobs on here. And this is a double linen closet, believe it or not. Bedroom number one, this is on the front left of the home if you're looking at it from the street. Original door in fantastic shape. Wood floors in here as well. And then original door on the closet. Then there are two linen closets to the left that we just passed. Here's our full bathroom. We do have another bathroom down in the basement. Very clean. Ceramic tile on the floor and on the walls. And then bedroom number two, this is on the back left of the home. And you see this is a big room right here. I mean, we have room for a king size bed in this room if you want, and of course, the upstairs, which we'll look at here momentarily, is pretty much the whole upstairs is a bedroom as well with tons of closet space. Two closets in this room as well. So it's one thing that's really nice about this house. There's no shortage of closet space. We have two closets in one room, two linen closets, and wait until you see the closets upstairs on this home. It is a ridiculous amount of storage. But before we go up there, let's go down and look at the basement, which is right around the corner here. I'll meet you down there. All right, so here it just came down the stairs in the basement and we have a family room area right here. This would be a great spot to put a pool table or a ping pong table or make a little theater room down here. All glass block windows down here that have been updated. Here's our updated panel box right here. So this area right here is the semi-finished area. And then around the corner we have our utility room. Now this washer and dryer can stay. These are both GE washer and dryers here. This can say, stay, excuse me, large mud sink. Now one thing to point out, underneath this rug right here, there is a toilet flange. So there used to be a toilet right here. This used to be two full bathrooms. We're calling a bath and a half, but all you gotta do is put a toilet in there and now it's a full bathroom. And here's our shower and this shower does work. It is in use right now. The owner does use it and then big storage area here. Really, you could rearrange this wall here to make, you, know, you have a foosball table, a little office area. Great section here. I have a lot to talk about down here. Here's our new water heater. 
right there. That was installed by Atherton. Our Bryant furnace matches the air conditioner. I think that's about a year old as well. And then the water line, the owner had to replace the water line all the way to the street. So this is the new water line right here. So this is a big area here too. A lot of, a lot of options of things you could do down here. And check out this storage room. Massive storage room here. Glass block window and that does have the vent in it. And this is underneath the front porch. So it's built like a parking garage. It's kind of your tornado safe room, if you will. So all kinds of possibilities here in the basement. Give you one more walk through here. So fantastic. Now let's go check out the second floor. All right, so here I just came up to the second floor. Guys, there's tons of storage in here. And this, this whole thing is really cool up here. It's all original knotty pine walls here, but check this out. Looks like a rustic cabin. Very, very cool. And then the storage, these walls go all the way down. So this door right here, huge amount of storage all the way down here. Plus there's two closets down there. Plus this whole area right here is closet as well. So challenge you to find more closet space of a home in this price range. I don't know if I have the light on yet. I can't, well, let me turn on the light for you. I mean, look at that, that's huge. Potentially throw a bathroom up here if you wanted to add a bathroom as well. And again, this is all storage over here too. Then two built-in closets on either side. Windows up here are all updated as well. Get, get a good look at the roof right here. It looks like a gray dimensional shingle roof. So a great third bedroom. Next, I'll meet you back downstairs for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they would be happy to show you this fine home. Home like this in this area at this price does not last that long. Uh, the owner is selling this house as is, but we have a new furnace, new air conditioner, new windows, new water heater, updated, or the newer windows, excuse me, um, updated roof. I mean, this, this house mechanically is turnkey and honestly, I mean, the paint, everything is good. Just the owner is not in a place to be able to be in a position to make any repairs or kind of nickel and dimed, if you will. But this place is nice. I don't see an inspector find a whole lot of stuff wrong. You even have updated panel box and exterior end and interior electric there. So I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna stop, but thanks for watching and we look forward to talking to you.